Hey guys, Buckshots here, bringing you a tutorial how to mod MW3 L files with HXD and IDA. Just follow along. Okay, first thing we're going to do here is get your L file, drag it over here to IDA. You're going to choose kernel options 1. Go ahead and put a check next to create function if data cross reference data exists. Go ahead and check that. Click OK. Now the self is loading into IDA. It's going to take a while to load. Just give it some time. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and open up our L file in HXD. Okay, what we're going to do is search for the DVAR we want to change so go ahead and hit control F or edit or search up here I already have perk type there just hit OK okay now here's our offset you're gonna hit control E E is an echo or you could just go up here and hit edit select block same thing copy that offset I'm using control C to copy now what I'm gonna do is go back here to IDA you could either jump right here with jump to address or just press G. I'm going to press G. Paste the offset from HXD into this jump address window. Add 1000 in hex to the offset. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to jump us there. Now, usually after the whole file loads, it'll straighten out this string for you. But if you don't want to look at it right there, you can just press A and it'll fix the string for you. Okay, so now we're gonna slide over here. Okay, we gotta let the file load because our cross-reference hasn't been found yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here and I'll be right back as soon as it finds a cross-reference. Okay guys, IDA has found the cross-reference. So what we're gonna do, this is your cross-reference right here. They call it an XREF. You're going to go ahead and click right here on this uh, this offset or this little arrow. Double click it. Actually, give it a second. It's still loading stuff. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and jump to that now. Okay, here we go. Here's our float values right here for this perk here. See, the, the perk has a min a max and a default value. These are the three values right here. Now as you can see if I highlight over it it says float 0.64.9 this one's going to be float 1.0 and this one is 0. So that's the min, max, and default. Okay so what we're going to do you're going to double click on this float value here. Open that up. There's our min value our max and our default so just go ahead and click highlight uh, the float right there click back to hex view now you have a uh, offset 11134 so that's where we need to go in HXD to modify that value but first of course first we want to change this value so it loads the XP lobby per uh, DVAR so you get you know however many points you put for each suicide let me go ahead and do that here SCR score DOM suicide null out the remaining bytes okay so that's modified now now we're gonna go ahead and do our our values which are located at 11134 so control E one 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 three four tab tab one hit OK and there's our value right there let me go ahead and open up my float to hex app give me just one second guys ok 
Okay, here it is. Go ahead and start that up. Now we're going to change the value to 20,000 per suicide. So let's go ahead and pop that in there, convert to hex. There's our number. We'll go ahead and copy that. We're going to go into HXD. You're going to hit Control B as in boy. Or you could do edit, paste, write. So Control B. Okay, we just changed that value. Now let's go back to IDA. Let's go to our minimum value. Open up, come back over here. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Okay, that's going to be 11138, which is right here. So, Control B. Come back over here to our max value. Go back to hex view, and we got 2113C. So here's 2113C, control B, and right there, you're done. You just modified the XP per suicide in a domination game. Now I'm going to show you guys one more thing. I'm going to turn on UI debug mode, which is a bull. A bull is a true or false DVAR. The value will always be true or false. Zero equals false, one equals true. So what we're going to do is uh, go back to HXD. Scroll up here. Let's search again for UI debug. Here's where we find it. Hit Control E, copy the offset. Come back to IDA and jump to that off jump to the offset plus 1,000. So it's going to be five. Hit OK. Go back to IDA view. Okay, guys, now here, same thing again. We're going to double click this to jump to the function that calls this string. The values are in that function. So we're going to double click there. Now we're back up here. We have zero as the value here. So what we're going to do is bring it back to hex view. Click on the zero, bring it back to hex view. Look for your offset, 24E640. So put that in HXD, 24E640. Hit OK. There's our value. Now all you got to do to change the bool here is just change this 0 to 0, 01. Go ahead and save your file. Now a lot of people like to recrypt as an eboot.bin, however you like to do it it's fine as long as it can run on your custom firmware PS3 this tutorial was brought to you by Buckshots please subscribe guys stay tuned for more tutorials